It's it's like they built something new on the bones of the original. Ooh, oh, it's, they man. Really, like they that? fleshed yeah, out the experience. I've been uh -huh. living in skeleton puns for about a year and a half, <laughs> and even that so got nice. me. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, and, and uh, another thing I'm noticing too as we're jumping back and forth is that, you know, as you go further into the hedge maze and it clicks into sort of a, a top-down perspective, um, I'm appreciating the new camera controls that you have yeah. here. Yeah, you can actually move the camera around yeah. now. Yeah, how about that? Oh, no. Um, and another thing I really like, let me back out of the hedge maze here so it works properly, but if you hold L2, it goes into this cool, like, over-the-shoulder oh, yeah, camera. that's the Dan cam. The Dan cam. The Dan, Dan cam. cam. Oh. Yeah. I love it. That is Dan Cam. And you can you can fight like that. It's really helpful for long range attacks. So when you're using oh, that crossbow, yeah, yeah, yeah. throwing knives, um, just it helps you immerse, you know, be immersed in the world. That's this you'll see this bad monk just summoned all these other monks around you. Oh, okay. so I was trying to get to him before he could pull that could off. Could do that, yeah. Sometimes you can. Yeah, Justin, cool. I think you've taken to the controls pretty well here. Like you're, you're, there. you're crowd managing pretty well here. I'll admit um, two things. The first thing is that I uh, never actually played the original Medieval back then, so I'm not uh, exactly an expert. The second is that I did get a little bit of a test run uh, before we started recording here, so I've got a decent handle on the controls here. Yeah, but um, it feels great to play. But the game's also not easy, right? It's uh, not. You're constantly taking damage. Yeah. You're making good use of your shield. As you can see, the UI up there has oh, your health and Actually, I'm not green. making good use of my shield. Well, oh yeah, you, you, you will. You have full 250. Yeah, there we go. 235. Uh, it's sort of like a durability meter in a yeah. way. Okay. But to to kind of just um, express the point, um, there's no um, there are no like save points in the middle of the stages. There's no um, you know easy checkpoints. Oh, so, so you got to get it in one go. In one go. Yeah, if, if you die, if you make it to like almost the end of the stage and you die, you're doing the whole stage over again. Wow. Um, which is... That's classic. <laughs> classic. Yeah. <laughs> That's also classic, Justin, just doing that for attention. We hear, we hear you, Justin. Very good, good job. Yeah. You did it. There's no trophy for that, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> when I go to the hotel, I go ding, 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. ding, ding. <laughs> You know, you got to make sure everyone knows you're there. Of course. Um, of but course, yeah. check any any holes in the ground in any video game. That's how, how we do. I mean, naturally. Yeah, if, if you're into, like, classic, like, challenge, though, I mean, Medieval's got it in spades. That's what I was going to say. Uh, it reminds me of No pun intended time. that we are in, you know, we were just coming up the grave. A garden. Uh, <laughs> a garden. But, yeah, it reminds me, you know, I played this game back in, in 98, but I was definitely not skilled enough to get this far in, and I, I, I think I probably was not meeting the game on its own level because it's actually pretty, you know, demanding and, and Justin's using his shield and his uh, charge attack and you also have like some secondary abilities and you really got to use the full artillery to make it through. That's right. That's right. Or at least that's the easiest way. Yeah. Um, you know, there, there's a, a super satisfying loop in Medieval um, of going into these stages, fighting lots of enemies, filling this chalice. You'll notice see the, up in the right-hand corner. Oh, sure. Um, you're filling a chalice right now. Once you're at 100% by defeating a bunch of enemies, you can turn that into the Hall of Heroes. Okay. And they'll give you either a new weapon or an upgrade to Dan, maybe another life bottle. Um, and that is what is going to help you progress through the game. Like, some of these bosses really require some of the better weapons. Okay. Or else you're just going to be really struggling. So, um... Go try a stage. If you can't do it, go collect a chalice, get upgraded, come back, you know, and just rinse and repeat. Okay, so Sir know? Dan has some persistent upgrades that, like, if you're just getting your, your you know, your bony butt handed to you, Absolutely. you can come back a little bit later. Absolutely. Oh. Nice. Way to find them all there, Justin. Well I did it. Done, but my star riddle was but a trifle. Just teasing you again. Oh, that was just a trifle, Justin. One. Sorry to say it. Return hither. You <laughs> will not find my next I'm going to start saying return so hither whenever I need Justin now. <laughs> He's going to come up and ring the bell 50 See, times. That's right. <laughs> uh, do we want to take a look at the uh, the hedge maze so go from the original? Yeah, let's take a look oh, yeah. at uh, what this looked like in the, the original game a little bit. So we're revisiting the area that, uh, you know, Justin just visited with the, the bell there and seeing, like, again, uh, functionally, mechanically, design-wise, like, similar so layout. Yeah, yeah same absolutely. Thing. Yeah, we want it to be the game you remember. Um, just... With Even that that little coin purse in the in <laughs> yep. the same yeah. hole there, yeah, Absolutely. same grave. Absolutely, the, you know, the kind of the goal here was that if you had a strategy guide for the original PS1 game and you sat it down next to you, you could use it for the PS1. Game. Oh, nice. You know, that's how I one, love that. That's how one to one we but wanted it to be, and I think we've really succeeded like uh, in that regard. So we're really excited Return to see people dig into it to, to kind of like relive system. the adventure or to just jump into it in in the first place because this really is one of the most bizarre but beautifully bizarre games I think um, to ever come out of so beautifully awesome. bizarre beautifully bizarre let's yep. let's click back into I the uh, beautifully bizarre remake yep.
So <laughs> we have just been slightly trifled and are going back to uh, Jack of Greens. Good old Jack of Greens. Yeah. Let's use that cinematic Dan cam. Ooh, looks good. Yeah, it is a, that is a good way just to get a closer look at all the, yeah. the new character models. Without it, I am nothing. It is beautiful. Oh. Without it, I am nothing. I wonder what that could be. Hmm. Uh, and then now, is there, are there new areas in the hedge maze that have opened up now that... Possibly. Okay. Let's take a look. Maybe a... Maybe a Let's picture. find out. Maybe a puzzle for you. Ooh. Ah, Here we go. Guy over there. <laughs> He's chasing after you. <laughs> so, um, Nick, being in the world of medieval for so long, just you know, having having worked on the game for a while and immersed yourself in it, like, what are, have you come to sort of notice anything about like late '90s, you know, game design or just like the sensibilities of, of 3D gaming from this era? Oh yeah. Um, Good question. There's a, a lot of that stuff. So you'll notice in the PS1 games sometimes, like the draw distance is, is very, it's very close up to you. Yeah. Um, and there's certain camera angles that are fixed for a reason. Oh, okay. Um, you know, there, there's parts in this game where we try to give you as much camera control as possible. Okay. Show but the clown there's reasons sometimes why they look like you. Okay. And, see and what you can do. Because like in this case, it might you know focus you in on the puzzle, and you might see like, oh, this view, I can see you know three or five masks or whatever. Exactly. Um, Exactly, and you know, the more you try to like, you know, update things or change things, sometimes the more you might see, oh, they did it for a particular reason. Yeah. Uh, and for a game as, as diverse um, and varied as medieval is, sometimes it took a while to really find out what that uh, rationale was. Okay. But believe you me, it was always there. Um, so we came to the decision that we just had to leave a lot of stuff as it was. Okay. Um, but you know, and there were a lot of things that we could do. Obviously, UI updates. We reorchestrated the, the entire soundtrack. Yeah, it sounds great. Um, you know, we've added voice acting here and there as well, um, and then we've given you as much camera control as we as we possibly can to give you you know a new look at everything here. So it's great. Um, Speaking of new look, uh, Justin's trying to give these Speaking these very look. sad nice. uh, masks. What are the theater masks? I can't remember the drama. Uh, you know, sad, happy ones. Uh, he's, he's trying to he's trying to get them all presumably to face the clown, the happy right. sides of it. Um, oh, okay. and he's done it. Yes, look, look at that. You know exactly what you're doing. Kevin, I'm sure. Return in Congratulations, Justin. Thank you. I'm very, I'm very happy, as you can tell. You uh, let's take a quick peek at what that looked like uh, back in 1998. Okay, again, uh, so it's like it's. It's interesting. It's making me appreciate that the remake really helps fit all the pieces into the world. Like these, uh, these masks really stick out. Yeah. Um, but it's it's like they built something new on the bones of the original. Ooh. Oh it's, they man. Really you They've like fleshed out well, the experience. I've been uh -huh. living in skeleton puns for about a year and a half, <laughs> and even that got me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, just a quick. Uh, it was just a quick glimpse at what that. Um, the sort of like. Uh, I guess the desire for the the you know praise of the crowd, but that puzzle looks like yeah. uh, back in 1998. So we can jump back into uh, the remake here. Pick right back up. I hope you guys can hear this a little bit. When uh, when Dan's actually charging his weapon or doing lots of things, you can actually hear these new efforts that we have um, from Jason Wilson, the original voice actor of Dan. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, this nice new. Yeah, he's Yo. surprisingly expressive he for, is. you know, not even really being able to form words. <laughs> uh, yeah, yep. you, you said that it's the original the original voice actor for Dan came back and recorded some new stuff, right? Yes, he did. And uh, famously, he recorded his original lines uh, for Dan with a bucket on his head. <laughs> um, and when we <laughs> asked him to come back, he asked us if we, he should bring the bucket. And I was like, of course you should like the, bring the bucket. Yeah, the same it, bucket? It has Does he have it, like, in, a, in, a, in his garage somewhere? It's on a shrine. It hasn't been cleaned once. <laughs> I just I love it. He just so much so much love and enthusiasm for the character though that um, he wanted to bring the bucket back. Yeah, it works well. I mean, I, I imagine there's some challenge with uh, bringing a character that has no no lower jaw, you know, back to you know bringing a sort of expressive vocal to him. Yeah. I really love what they've done with with his face, the animation. Yep. It's so good. There's a lot of that. You know, we have these little fairies in a different stage that are like the, they look like little like little bald, like, port, uh, pot-bellied, like, fairies. <laughs> they look really, okay. like, really silly, but the way they're animated now looks astounding. Like, can I pet the cat? Nick, tell me I can pet the oh cat. Oh, man, I wish. Oh, man. 
Sounds like another addition you guys. I mean, well, the cat, the cat doesn't attack you, so that that's enough. Oh, okay, right? that's fair. They that's also, fair. you know, cats let you know when they want to be pet, and I think the <laughs> ominous glowing red eyes are maybe yeah. indication that they. I just found out that I cannot hurt the cat, so that's uh, that's good. That's, that's that makes good. me feel better, because uh, they are they are perfect children. They're, they're purring. They, yeah, they know what you're doing. They're having a good time. Uh, by the way, Nick, thanks for hooking me up with all these extra life bottles uh, so <laughs> before we started. You're welcome. Uh, I am working with a little bit of a handicap here to, so that I don't die and have to. Start you're doing great though. Uh, you only lost two bottles so far. There went that guy. Yeah. Um, Hanging in there. So what are we working with so far? We got cats. Yeah. We got a giant elephant um, sort of hedge design there. Yep. Mad what, Monk is. What's our What's our riddle again? It's um, uh, oh some, goodness. Something to do with. I forgot. Fear, being afraid of something. Uh, yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, here's a little merchant gargoyle. Oh, ready to chop your coins here. down. I can yeah. buy some uh, buy some crossbow bolts. Yeah. Make sure that enters. Yeah. Delicious. He loves nice. to eat your coins. That's fun. Anytime I owe Justin and give him back his money, this is exactly <laughs> how it goes. <laughs> he just That's another it. great animation. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's, yeah, him just chomping down on him. We love it. So, well... So yeah, let's. So that's the um, that's the chalice of souls. Remember, I was telling you before. There's like this awesome loop about collecting the chalice, getting upgraded. Yeah. That's where you would collect it after you hit that hundred percent. Um, so maybe you can grab that a little bit later. Uh, but for now, you gotta go find. Uh, maybe what can help you solve this puzzle. Yeah. What could it possibly be? What could Something it be? Something to do with elephant. Maybe some peanuts. I don't know. Ooh yeah, <laughs> peanuts are really good. Uh, elephants love peanuts. Um, I'm trying to think what else, like a, like a unicycle. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. Find that clown Not that way. Yeah. No. Take a look. There, you it know, is there, a maze. There are some uh, monks around here a little bit. Oh, there we yeah. go. Well, they, they came might... out of a new spot. Yeah. A new pathway. Yeah, Jack's been opening up some new spots for you here as you're solving okay. these riddles. All the clever, clever. The, bread, the very ugly breadcrumb trail. Yeah. You might want to be careful up here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's like a like a fish. Nice. Get, get a Dan cam on that. Let's let's take a, a good look at. Oh. It. Oh. Okay. That hurt. There he oh, is. Oh, cool. Yeah. So what, what is this? What like is it? like an octopus. Like thing? an octopus or a squid. With yeah. A, okay. I like Squids it. have beaks, right? Yeah. yeah. Why not? I just yeah. Just pluck away at him from back here. Pluck him away. Yeah. It's good to stay safe. Yeah. Use your full uh, arsenal. It's at your disposal here. Is this like a is it fish design? I'm seeing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that oh, was coming handy. Smacks I wanted to try and like be a little more. No, no, you've, you've got some good health. You can, you can, you can do that. Ooh, cool. Yeah, you're hitting them all at once. Yeah, How is the shield against this guy? Yeah, don't forget to remove that shield. You got it. Oh, okay, down to one. Okay, yeah, that was a bad idea. Oh, there yeah, you go. You a little bit more. Oh, and I can get that yeah, too. Yeah, get the head. He's the, the head. one that like she shoots over. There you go. Good nice. night. He's out. Yeah, that Dan camp comes in handy. Yeah, that was that was like very you revealing. You can see if you go back, did you see that lovely asylum in back there when you were looking at that at the head? Oh, let's take oh a yeah, I mean, I suppose touches like that are things that just really wouldn't have been part of the equation in the in the original. Yeah, do you, can you see it back yeah, up there? That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's that's it. Helps kind of put the this area within the wider world and, and yeah. kind of give it a sense of place. It's gorgeous. So now you got a. Book was that a book or that was, was a chaos rune? Chaos rune, sorry. Chaos rune. Uh, oh yeah, okay. I, I know where that goes. Uh, yeah. Justin's on the case. Yeah, all, all the little touches in this game, you know, there was so much to work with. I think in one of our developer interviews, we ta they talked about 56 different enemy types. Wow. You know, some of which appear in the game once. You know, in, in just in different spots. Oh, there um, you go. It's, it's speaking of, you know, there's a little like NPC. It's about to make its make its way here when you walk forward a little bit. That's oh, nice. an see important peeking out there. Yeah, hello, oh. hey, buddy. Uh, hey, he's oh, happy. He's happy, happy to see you. Yeah, a little little rat buddy. Now okay. your your job is to just uh, try and get him. Past yeah, these get little, him, get him. Uh, little hungry get guys him. over here. Oh, I see what's happening here. Okay. Uh, oh boy. Okay. <laughs> now if I if if these I'll cats. You. These cats are actually reacting to how I think my cats would if they saw a mouse, which is just total indifference <laughs> uh, and and not earning their rent at all. But um, I'm glad that you guys are a little generous with the kind of the stealth patterns here. Yeah, of course, you know the really funny funny story about this this rat is that he was one of the first AI pieces that we put into this remake. Um, so I have a, a, a lot of fondness for him. 
he was around like you know before uh -oh. anything no, else. No, 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 no. I mean, oh. it, he's your he's your your, your test rat. Buddy. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Spot my bluff. And he actually just made that uh, that, that hedge elephant hard, open up a new spot for you. Nice. Elephant. That's great. To this time, however, I almost pity you. The um, so yeah, you found you solved the riddle. I'm impressed. Uh, let's take a look and see what that that. Um, puzzle looked like uh, in 1998. I kind of want to take a peek. Okay, so yeah, let's let's pick up. He's got the the chaos rune, and, oh, and there's your little buddy. There now he we is. got the the rat again. <laughs> Slightly more detailed than the 2019 <laughs> version of the game. Yeah, yeah maybe. You know. You know, and the cats, the cats look like big rats too. Yeah, they do. There, there's a there's a <laughs> there's a greater cat variety um, in in the uh, the, the oh. remake, which I appreciate. Oh. And he's just kind of wigging out. Uh, yep. oh. He's not having it. Doesn't, oh, doesn't know what's happening there. That's uh, it. Didn't work out for him. But thankfully, he's got a brother uh. or a sister. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it, it is the same little rat. He yeah. just doesn't it's quite know what oh, he's, he's doing. Scared. Oh, it's it is canonically the same rat. <laughs> yeah, okay. same rat. <laughs> I know that's the important. You know, no rats were harmed in the making of this gameplay video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, those two cats are moving in, in unison there. Yeah, the original escort quest guys right here. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is so. <laughs> this is pretty tolerable in terms of escort quests. Yeah, this is uh, this is really clever. Um, what I what I what I'm especially charmed by with this this little section is that it's like just such a detour yeah. from what you've been doing for the entire level. And it's so severely 90s in that way that I, I love it. <laughs> oh, and he kind of reared up and actually destroyed the, uh, the path behind him. Okay. Well, speaking of that path, let's, uh, let's jump back into the remake and explore a little bit further. Let's see what awaits. Oh, hello. An angry guy awaits. Quite the rude. Oh, goodness. Okay. Rude welcome there. Let's, uh, let's put some space between us and our attacker here. So if I understand the uh, I'm check out some other weapons. the overarching story, this is about halfway through the game, and uh, the main baddie is Zarak. Zarak, that yep, right? that's his name. Yeah, what can you tell us about Zarak? Oh, he's just trying to he's trying to take over Galamir. Um, he was thwarted by by Dan and his and his knights um, in the original battle, um, and he finally has the ability to resurrect the dead. Okay. So he does so at the beginning of this. He he resurrects all these zombies, all these creatures. Um, takes over, like, kind of um, hypnotizes all the townspeople, and in, in by so doing, uh, come on, I see you, resurrects Dan <laughs> as well. Boom! Oh, nice, nice hit. <laughs> um, so yeah, he has sort of in trying to sow the seeds of his own domination, he has also un undone undone them potentially yeah. if the player can get Dan all the way through. Definitely, uh, definitely. And you know, uh, Dan runs into a lot of people from his past. It's been quite a while. I think it's been about a hundred years. Is that all? Um, <laughs> oh, now you can grab that chalice if you ever, if you ever give. Oh, excellent! There. Actually, it's right there. It's like right next to you. Yeah, I just I don't want this guy to hit me. I have like <laughs> 25 health. Oh, you're doing good. You have three more bottles up there. Yeah, but I don't, I want to play like I mean it. <laughs> Justin doesn't go halfway ever. It's the thing that oh, I really okay. I really respect about him. He. Uh, oh no! Oh, I thought he was goes. dead. Uh, Sorry. Oh, dang it. Okay. Well, now I can just. It's for the glory and the honor. Oh, you got him. Oh, there he is. No. There he is. Get him. So I just realized that if someone's chasing you, you can charge up this giant smash attack, oh. and the AOE effect will get him. Yep. That's excellent. Good. Now you got a new uh, a, a new escape plan. A new strat. Available. Yeah. Pro strats. Yeah, I like that there's different primary weapons as well. I think, I, you know, when I, I remember playing oh, the game, I don't... Oh, no. a lot happened right there. Oh. That was <laughs> very action-packed. Kablooey. Um, oh, there's a treasure chest there. That's actually a bomb. Just to kind of... You but yeah, I like that you have other. I, I mean, I knew there was different secondary weapons, but um, it's it's really great to see that there, you can really change your tactic there's completely. There's a huge variety. There's a bunch of different, different primary and secondary. Yeah, weapons. there's actually like a whole other armor set you can get for the game. Oh, awesome! Um, there's a lot of stuff that Dan can do. Um, and I you'll think see, I like the sword they get more varied as you as you go through, obviously. Um, but yeah, people who are familiar with the game are going to be pretty thrilled with the way everything kind of turned out. Oh yeah. wait, I want to hit that bell with a hammer, oh. just because I can. <laughs> give it a give. A, Let's a see good. if I can break it. I believe in you. Uh, oh. Okay, it was a good hit. It was, it was a good, good smash. Well, not quite enough. It was a good hit. All right, back <laughs> to the sword. It's it is satisfying to hit those bells. Though. Oh yeah, it is. Um, so yeah. have we gotten? We're still after. Um, yes, you might want the next to. Riddle. I think after we talk to Jack. Or after you solve that riddle, you have to go back and, and just speak to Jack for a moment. Oh, what's, what is this? 
Uh, this is a life fountain. So oh, if you yes, see your, please. your life bottles up there are actually refilling. Oh, thank you. Glug, 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 glug. Yep, but they are finite, so it only might refill like, you know, two or so, and oh. then it's done. Oh. So you got to be careful. So Give that's it for this Give level? That's it until you reload this level. Okay, gotcha. And then it'll be there again, but then you have to fight back to this area. You got to earn it still. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's good to know. Yeah, um. you got to be you got to be careful. You got to play carefully, slowly. Um, the more crazy you just kind of run in there, the more you do get your bony butt kicked. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but be careful. It can canonically, it works. Yeah. And then you're doing the daring dash right there. One of the abilities Dan gets. That's a good look. So have we solved we've now solved that that riddle. Yep, we solved the elephant okay. riddle. I tolerate the moon and stars. I can't abide the sun. Banish me with torchlight, and you'll see me turn and run. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go check out that grate that you were just hanging out over. Oh, oh okay. that did I look suspicious. Just got there a little too early. Yep. Got it. He he wants to he wants to talk crap to you face to face. You know. <laughs> and I'm noticing face to face. we were talking about the new soundtrack and. Uh, I feel like it just got a little bit more, you know, epic. And yeah, yeah, that just kicked, kicked in, in there. Yeah, so Bob and Barn, who did the original, who composed the music for the original game, actually came back to orchestrate all of the remaining music for the game. Um, and oh, it's yeah. all been dynamically mixed. So depending on what's happening, what the action's like in the game, um, if I just it, it'll drop down there. Yeah, drop down there. Go. Okay. I love the I love the choir. Yes, it's uh. beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful. It really just makes everything. It's a. It's incredible. It's you know, video game music sometimes can be that sort of, or music just in any medium is like that invisible thing that brings it to that next level, and it just feels like all the stakes have, have raised a little bit. Yeah. Um, the, the sound team working on this game have done an amazing job just mixing everything and making it sound as, as epic as you want it to. Be. Yeah. You know, it does feel like a, a grand adventure, which you know is, is befitting of Sir Dan over here. That's right. It's a. It's also one of redemption. Yes. Yep. Okay. Nice. Need to get back to that arrow to the eye. Here. Good instincts. There you go. Okay. So you're Got on it. the right track. That's good. I have a hunch there will be more. Yeah. Lo and behold. There's a this window right there. What I like about this area too is that it's like a, a thematic change of pace from the upper, you know, hedge maze, yeah. and um, I feel like it. It seems like. You know, I haven't beaten the original 98 game, but I feel like there's a lot of variety here uh -huh. already just within this one stage. Yep. Well, and just notice how you can you can see the stone on each of the walls in here. Like oh, you yeah. You can see that you're kind of closed in. Yeah. Um, if we take a look at what this looked like back in the day, oh. um, you'll notice that, like, you know, it's all just kind of black and dark because oh, well, the draw distance just wasn't there. We definitely should take a look. It just well, I, I love that a lot of the stones actually like jut out of yeah. the wall. There's yeah. so much character here. Yeah. yeah. Like you can see the roots from the trees above yeah. ground coming down. It is I like pretty that. great. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a look after uh, this puzzle Blasted. is solved. It took me ages to come up with that. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting frustrated. It's all right. You know, he gave it his best. Very well. Um, so why don't you head out of here and then we'll, um, we'll look back at the 98 original version of this puzzle. Give that a quick jump. Return at once and I shall give Whoosh. you your prize. All right. Let's go back in time. Okay, so unveiling the path to um, to the underground area here. There it is. There nice. it is. And the room looks a little smaller. A little wow. more claustrophobic. Um... Again, it feels very faithful to what I just did. <laughs> yeah. But like, man, you can you can so tell the difference. Yeah. The, um, you know, just the, this, the way that those bricks were jutting out of um, the, you know, the texture. It just, it's it's much simpler. You still, it's still the same core puzzle, but. Um, oh, and also like lined up the piece, but not not much yeah. in the way of feedback there. That, that's yeah. right. Yeah, and it looks like the pushing is a little bit easier in the new version, just kind of being able to, to maneuver it uh, side to side while you're pushing it forward. Yeah, yeah here it looks like you're locked in 90 degree yep. uh, angles, which is like, you know, pretty pretty common for that era. And yep. then, yeah, just the, the fact that they added the little mini cutscene that indicates that you did something correctly. Like, I feel like this, if I played this back in 98, I would have been really frustrated because I wouldn't <laughs> would know. have known what was going on. Yeah. Absolutely. And then even there, once you got all three, yeah, you did it. still nothing. But then when you go in there, Whoa! You can see, Whoa! <laughs> yeah. you I do like that. Absolutely. Yeah, and there's your feedback right there after you pop out of it. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's jump back. So I think we're close. 
Okay. Are we getting see. there? Yeah, Where you should go go back and tell back this way. Tell Jack what's up now that you solved this puzzle. Oh, I'll tell him what's up. Hey, Jack, your riddles are. I whack. got a bone to pick with this guy. Uh oh, Ooh. oh, there it is again. I love it. Doesn't get old. It probably does. <laughs> you think you're so clever, don't you? Yep. Here you are. Sir, again, that's Justin. Cops. Always thinking he's so clever. I grant you free <laughs> passage through my maze. Find your own way out. Sir, Dan still doesn't cops. care. He's still looking around. He's just distracted eternally. It's like, okay, dude, that's the best way to defuse a blowhard like that is yeah. you just ignore him. Look at the texture on this guy. And yeah. Look at like, like the th the modeling on that <laughs> face. Yeah. It's so good. Oh man, I I have a deep appreciation for the work you guys are doing here. I love it. Thank you. Yeah, that's all. The art team is astounding. All, all credit to them. Wait, am I going the right way? I think you are. So he's basically like, I'm done with you. Like, you just, you figure it out if you're so smart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're doing great. What will it be this yeah. time? Going past here. There was area. For good luck. <laughs> For good luck, <laughs> yeah. of course. Here. That was blocked. Make your statement. To the right. Right. Okay, okay. there you Thank go. Thank you. It would okay. have been a boring episode if I'm just running <laughs> in circles. Oh! Something's oh, hitting me. That where, hedge, where did that come from? I think that, that hedge guy hit you. Yeah, it looks like they... Hedge guy? Oh, that thing? Yeah, that thing. I think oh, it hit you with something. Don't know. Let's, let's activate the Dan cam. Go ahead. Go shot. It's just like zooming yeah. in and out of the mouth, too. Yeah, the thing is, like, when you're... If you notice some of these guys you were hitting, you were actually getting um, bestiary entries as well. Oh, so, uh, cool. I, I'm such a sucker for that. Yeah, we have an entire bestiary in the game that's been... Freshly written. That's actually all new text. Oh, fun! From, uh, from Chris Sorrell, yes. the original creator. So, um, just helped us bring it to life a little bit more. And now we have a chess puzzle. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the little pieces making noises. But <laughs> They've literally come to life. Yeah. Uh, well, it seems color coded. Uh, so if uh, I had to take okay, a guess, okay, okay. yellow goes on blue, right? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Oh. Ow, ow. The, the, rook, ow, the ow. rook is not into it. That's a rook, right? Uh, yes. Okay, all right, thanks. Yeah, I play video games, not, yeah. not, not board games, guys. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh. Ow, ow. Boy, gotta, no, this is actually exactly how chess goes. I've, yeah. you know, I've, I've played a lot of it, and it's usually oh, just about getting these four pieces into the color coded spots. Yep. And just swinging blades at them. Yep. Pe people say chess is hard. Boy, come on. Yeah, I mean, come on, just take a look at this. I mean, if Sir Dan can do it. Yeah. <laughs> I do really like the voices. Ooh. <laughs> I never. Ow. Look at go. that. You've done it. Got him. So is that going to conclude the level? Uh, is that, that a sound That grounds? is the end. All that, right. That is actually your entrance to the asylum right there, believe it or not. He's he's over he's overjoyed <laughs> with his with his own riddle solving ability. Well, uh, just a nice work. Um, Nick, thank you for, for joining us on an episode of PlayStation Underground. People don't have long to wait. Uh, it's going to be out on PlayStation 4 on October 25th. October 25th, disc and digital. And if you're a huge Medieval fan, man, check out that digital deluxe version. There is so much cool behind-the-scenes content in there. And you know, a rad PS4 theme. And a rad PS4 theme. The whole soundtrack, it's it's an amazing deal. Um, I think it's like 39 and the standard is 29. Okay. 29. So... Um, it's just an awesome experience. If you've never played the game before, this is the perfect time to jump in. If you have, you're, you're going to have a blast. Yeah, I'm excited. Just in time for Halloween, too. So, all right. Well, thanks for joining us, and thanks, everyone, for watching. That's Medieval. Thank you. PlayStation.